Hello, hello, my name is Zorxy, and welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be going over my favorite build, and probably the best build you could run in Dead by Daylight as a survivor. The best, the four perks that you need to run as a survivor in Dead by Daylight. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, here we are with our survivor. And you, you want to survive as a survivor, right? You want to survive. I mean, it's just common sense. Anybody wants to survive as a survivor. So the first perk we're going to be looking at, I know it's going to th throw you for a loop, is, let me find it, let me find it, no mither. Now, if you don't know what no mither is, you've got eyeballs, you could read, but I'll tell it to you also. You're affected by the broken status effect for the duration of the trial. Now, what that means is that you're always injured during the trial. Now, that may seem bad, you know, you might get half the hits, but there are a few caveats you're missing that this, that makes this perk a sleeper hit that you do not understand. First things first, you don't lo leave pools of blood. Now, you're like, I'd rather have an extra hit than leave pools of blood. Well, first off, you're dumb. You don't even know what's happening. The pools of blood, that's one of the most important tracking tools in Dead by Daylight. Second off, grunts of pain caused by injuries are reduced by 75% at any time. So, Let's think about this. It's just a better iron will that you're getting here. Better iron will, since it's been nerfed, it's better. And your recovery speed on the ground is increased by 25%, and you could recover completely from the dying state. I mean, that's completely insane. Uh, slugging, it's gone. You can't slug you anymore. Uh, pair this with uh, Unbreakable. It's not in this list, but, I mean, and you could get from the ground immediately. So, that is why No Mither is on the list. I'm sorry, I shook there, you know. Shaky cam. But, yes, No Mither is a must-have perk for this. If you want to survive as a survivor, uh, you can't get slugged. And although you may be, like, injured, you counterplay. I can't break you if you're already broken. That's what I say. Self-care. Alright. Unlocks the ability to heal yourself without a healing item at 35% of the normal healing speed. Pair that up with No Mither. And, all of a sudden... You know, you could be healed. You could be unbroken. It, it, it's an amazing combo that nobody seems to grasp. And I don't see anybody running this build. I, it, it's it's insane. <sighs> but let, let's go on to the next perk. Um, Self-care, although the nerfs, uh, that it got nerfed in the latch patch. Come on. It, it's still one of the best perks in the game. That's why they nerfed it. Uh, let's go on to the next perk. For the people. Now, if you don't know what for the people is, it, there's a lot of reading here. I understand. You risk your life and injury for others. For the people is only active while at full health. Press the active ability button while healing another survivor without a medkit to instantly heal them from the dying state to injured or from injured to healthy. You become injured and receive the broken status effect for 60 seconds. Now, look at this. You become injured and receive the broken status effect for 60 seconds. You become the obsession. What is Nomither do? You are broken. You are broken and you're injured. This makes you broken and injured. You're already broken and injured. You were already broken and injured. You're already broken and injured. So that means you could have for the people for free. That's what I'm saying, guys. For free. You could for the people for free. This should not be for the people. This should be for free. This is what this build is going to be called. For free. For healing. I mean... <laughs> What? How did they even put this in this goddamn game? Uh, I don't know why people don't play this at all. Um, sorry. I got hit in myself. Anyway, the next perk, Renewal. When you have healed other survivors to the equivalent of one health state, okay. One health state from For the People, right? Renewal activates. If you're already affected by the broken, broken status effect, Renewal doesn't activate. Okay, you may be thinking, I'm already going to be broken from No Mither. Don't worry about it. Once renewal is active, the next time you'd be unhooked or unhooked yourself, you were affected with a broken status effect. You're already broken. It doesn't matter. You're already broken. After a total duration of 20 seconds, renewal automatically heals yourself from injured to healthy. You get free healing. Renewal deactivates when you become healthy or it puts you in a dying state before renewal successfully triggers. You lose your broken status effect. Now, with these four perks, I could guarantee you, I could guarantee you, and escape every single round, every single game. There's only one reason why people haven't run this against odds. They're scared. They don't want to be banned from the streams. He's one of the biggest Dead by Daily creators in the world. So, 
with these four perks, no matter self-care for the people and renewal, I can guarantee you an escape uh, all the time. And I know you'd be thinking, come on, Rixie, I, I can't, you can't just tell me these things. I need results. And I'll give you a result. I've got a game that I played with these four perks coming up to you right now. All right, so we just loaded into our game. Oh, it's an artist. To uh, test the efficacy of this build here for uh, the four most underrated perks in the game. So let's get to that on this gen and see what happens. Fearmonger exhausted. I don't need to worry about that. I don't have an exhaustion perk. All right, the killer should be around here somewhere. Oh, there she is. That's fine. We'll get out. 